Hey family, Danny here. How are you? We've been talking about Spider-Man. We talked about Ultimate Spider-Man. Well, today we're going to talk about Amazing Spider-Man and what's going on in the gang wars. That's right. Spider-Man is at war. Now, there have been some in the comic book community who have... Mm, Maybe I would say split on this one. I happen to really like this run and I'm and I'm excited with them both happening simultaneously because with Ultimate Spider-Man, we get this really fleshed out story. We're getting action and we're getting, you know, emotion and this really great character development with Amazing Spider-Man Gang Wars. It's more action. I mean, we do have some relationships and we're going to talk about those that are being explored, but there's really not a lot of time. I mean, you know, Spider-Man, he's got to be about that life. Everybody does. I mean, he, like I said, they are literally at war. I don't think you need a lot of background to jump in this one. I mean, obviously, there's always background stories. I mean, there's Devil's Reign. There's some events that happened in Amazing Spider-Man itself that set the seeds for this. But I don't think that you really would be too confused jumping in. I think you might appreciate it more if you had that background, but I think you could just jump in the pool on this one. It started off with Amazing Spider-Man First Strike. So each one had a First Strike issue that kind of introduced everything that was happening, everything that was going on. So it gives us a little background and we get the wedding of Peter Parker's best friend, Randy Robertson, and Janice Lincoln, a.k.a. Beta, was meant to be the event of the season. Now, who is Randy? Yes, he is Peter Parker's best friend. His dad also works at the Daily Bugle, so he's got that connect. And he is also doing his best to repeal the anti-vigilante laws that a certain ex-mayor, Wilson Fisk, that's right, Kingpin himself, past. So this turned into a tragedy because the wedding was crashed by Shotgun, who managed to gun down Janice's father Tombstone despite his bulletproof skin. And in suing chaos, Hammerhead took out Madam Mask, or did he? With all the other crime bosses of New York City, none the wiser. In the days since, Randy and Janice haven't reconciled. Janice stand by her father's side in the hospital, while Randy has poured herself into activism, working with Mayor Luke Cage to repeal Fisk Law, which outlaws superheroes in New York City. Randy has tried to convince Spider-Man to join in his quest to no avail. With Mass taken out and Tombstone in a coma, the delicate balance of power in New York's criminal underworld is at risk, and a smaller spark could light the flames of an all-out war. So there's our beginning. We have Zeb Wells with Cody Ziegler now. I know a lot of people have opinions on him, like I said, but I'm liking this so far. And there's our artist, Joy Vasquez, Julian Shaw, our colorist. So we got a lot of good people, John Remita Jr. A lot of good people are involved in this. So, so we open up and we also, I love this map. I'll be posting this map. So this is showing the territories and how everything is divided. There's the Rose. That's Wilson, Wilson Fick's son. Madam Mask, you know, from, from the Nefaria family. You got Hobgoblin, Hammerhead. So there's a lot going on here. So they're having this meeting and they're talking about, you know, his territory and dividing it up. We even got Shang-Chi making an appearance there, you know, because now he's a warlord as well. So he's making an appearance. And Janice is coming in and she's like, you know, what's going on? You know, you guys are trying to make this decision and divide up my family's territory and I want in. And we got everybody at this meeting. And, you know, they're not taking too kindly to this. They're like, you know what? We all had to earn this. How do you think you're just going to walk up in here like you own the place, right? So basically, he gives her hammerhead a, a, an assignment that if you want in, then what you're going to have to do is get rid of Randy. And she says yes. You know, she agrees to this. But you know what? 
That's not what she wants to do. And they know this, you know, Hammerhead knows this, that she's really not, you know, he has this conversation with his so-called girlfriend and he knows she's not going to really do it. She goes, you know, to do it, but she basically warns Randy and that was the plan because they wanted her to lead them to him and they attempt to kill him. And then she winds up going to the hospital and, you know, she has this disagreement with his dad because his dad is like, every time you come around, there's always trouble. You know, you just need to leave, you know. And now I'm going to take a pause here because we also, I want to mention, uh, you know, we talked about, you know, emotion and characters and stuff like that. And we said, you know, we're talking about a lot of action, right? But there's a moment where he has this um, conversation with Miles Morales, now, Spider-Man just kind of disappeared. He had a lot of issues in his life. And, you know, there that's that's a whole nother video. And Miles is like, you know what? You just kind of like ghosted me. What's going on, bro? You know? And he, he, he feels, you know, lost and kind of left out, you know, in their relationship. And, you know, Spider-Man, he tells him, you know... It's difficult. You make it difficult being your friend, you know, and that, he, you know, Spider-Man, he's like, well, I got a lot, a lot going on. And Miles is like, you know, yeah, I get that. But a lot of people do, you know, but you really made it hard. So they have this really nice conversation. But, well, I don't know if you want to call it nice, but if you've ever had a friend that kind of disappeared on you or whatever, maybe because they got a lot going on. I know I've been guilty of that myself then you understand what Miles is talking about. So, you know, I, I really like that they had the exchange. I like Miles. I, I like the fact that, you know, they're interacting with each other. And, you know, he's calling them. He's like, Peter, you know, what's going on? You know, I'm, you a friendship is a two-way street. And it also gives you an inkling of their age difference and where they're at. You know, Miles is younger. He felt like he kind of was got thrown to the wolf. So I thought that was a nice thing to include amidst all this action. We also have Luke Cage involved in this story because like I said, Luke Cage is the mayor and, you know, he is talking to Randy and they're trying to, you know, fix this situation, but it just, it just spirals out of control because it's just like this grab. Everybody's grabbing for territory. We find out later that a certain person who we thought was not alive anymore is still alive and still making moves. And so this story is just, like I said, it's just packed full of Spider-Man trying to basically handle this. And he knows he can't handle it by himself. Luke feels like his hands are kind of tied because even though he's the mayor, he has the police and everything at his disposal. Disposal. He's not supposed to use his powers. You know, he'd literally be breaking the law if he uses his powers. But there are things and being done and moves being made where it's going to force his hand. So he's also got other heroes involved. She-Hulk is 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 on the case. Um, Spider Woman. You know, we just saw Miles, Luke, Iron Fist gets involved. And this is a story that includes a lot of other characters, too. I'll be posting some info about that. But Spider-Woman, you know, has her Game War story. Miles has got his. Luke has his. So there's a lot. I'll be posting all that. There's a lot going on with this story. And there's actually a lot of comics that you could read. Like I said, I'm personally reading Luke's run myself and I'll, and I'll, you know, post pictures of that. I'm not so much into spider woman, so I won't be picking that one up. But again, like any comic, big comic book run, like night tears, like anything you can pick and choose. You don't have to get every single issue. You can just follow it through Spider-Man's run if you want to. And that, that'll be okay. Um, like I so so a lot of the things that I just mentioned are things that happened in first run. This story has went, you know, went on like right now we are that we you know there's issue 40 42 
This was 39. I really like this cover. Marvel actually has a box with that cover. 41. And so there's like a lot, a lot going on here. And I'll be posting a lot of this for you guys. But it's kind of like I said, you can choose how you interact with this story. So back to back to first strike. Like I said, Janice kind of gets kicked out of the hospital by Randy's dad. Randy's dad winds up running into Spider-Man while he's, you know, at Tombstone's bedside. And um, basically, you know, he's this is conversation where, you know, Spider-Man, he's, he's sorry. Obviously, that's his friend. But Randy's dad is like, basically, he's like, you know what? Get out there and fight. This is what my son would want. And that's, like I said, and Spider-Man realizes he's going to need help. And that's how he starts enlisting all these help. And in the different comics, like Luke, Luke, Jessica... Jessica Jones, his wife, is on the case with him on that side. Um, Iron Fist, Cloak and Dagger. So we got a lot of different people involved in this story. So relationships-wise, like I said, we saw that little exchange between him and Miles. But also father relationships, father, you know, da daughter relationships or father-son. Because we have... Janice, who wants to take over her dad's territory, he's still he's still alive, and she wants to prove herself. She doesn't want to be known just as his daughter. She wants to step up. He doesn't really, you know, want that. So there's that. We have Madame Mask, who wants to basically prove herself as well. You know, she later on, we find out that she's not as dead as we thought she was. We also have Wilson Fisk who makes his appearance and his son, the Rose is trying to come in and that's not quite what he wants. So we have a lot of children. So, you know, they're not children in age, but adult children who are trying to step up and basically, you know, I don't, I want to come out of my father's shadows. So there is that element in that. And then it's cool to see all these heroes working together. I love it. It's awesome. Especially the street level heroes. It's always good to see Luke Cage working again in his comic with Danny Rand. It's awesome. So we got a lot. Like I said, this one, if you want action, more action packed, I think this would be a good one. If you're looking for something a little bit more character development, I would say Ultimate Spider-Man would be for you. But again, I enjoy them both. It all depends on what you're looking for. It all depends on what you want. I would recommend them both to you. And like I said, depending on how you want to interact, you can either just straight up go Spider-Man or just do go Luke Cage or go Spider-Woman. It all depends. Or Miles, it all depends. Shang-Chi also is involved. He has his own Gang Wars comic. So I'll be posting that stuff as well. So again, thumbs up on this one. And as always, stay different. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.